I'm reading the graphic novel Amulet by Kazu Kibuishi with permission from Scholastic. This is book one, The Stonekeeper. Prologue. We're supposed to pick up Navin at eight o'clock. We're late. We have plenty of time, at least half an hour. Fifteen minutes is not a half hour. I just think Dad just lives in an alternate universe. Time moves slower there. That certainly would explain a few things. I'm sure Navin won't mind playing video games for a few minutes longer, honey. Hey, Dad, I get to play a game when we get there, right? Sit back down, Emily. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. David, it's already late. By the time we get back home, it'll be past 11. You're right, you're right. Hear that, Emily? We'll have to postpone our game till next time. Aww, David! I see it. The guy's not paying attention to his high beams. I can't believe this. Honk! David, look out! Hold on! Crack! Wood! Crunk! Karen, are you okay? My, my nose is hurt. Em Emily. What about Emily? Emily! Uh, I'm fine, Dad. Okay, I want you to climb out of there and come out the front. Click. That, that's it. Just keep moving. Get away from the car, Emily. Karen. Now you. Come on, Mom. Urgh. Dad, give me your hand. Emily, I can't. My legs are stuck under the dashboard. Dad, just give me your hand, please. Emily, I'll need your help. Mom, Dad's stuck. David! You have to get out of there right now! Karen, my legs are stuck. We need someone to pry me out of here. Get help! David, we don't have time! <coughs> the car's tipping! Just give me your hand! Uh, I can't move! I can't do it, Karen. You're gonna have to try. <coughs> no! Karen, let go. David! You need to look after Emily. Let go. Mom! Dad! Get out! Book One, The Stone Keeper. Two years later. If you keep that up, your face will stay that way. I'm trying to cheer up M. She's making the mopey face again. Hey! Just so long as... You both find some way to be entertained and stay out of trouble. I don't care what you do with your faces. Don't listen to him, Mom. I'm doing fine. Anyway, I think you guys will like this town. They have miniature golf. The only catch is that this house will require a lot of work to make it comfortable. 
Why did we leave our other place? Everything there was brand new. Unfortunately, new things cost a lot. Since your father passed away, I haven't been able to afford that house. At least out here, we won't be under quite as much financial strain. This house has been in the family for years. Mom, we're out in the middle of nowhere. There are plenty of places in this country that are out in the middle of nowhere. None of which are quite as populous as Norlin. It's a fairly sizable city. Now entering Norlin, population 28,000. You'll see, it's not that different than anywhere else. Well, here we are. Smell that fresh air. Isn't it great? Now let's see if these keys still work. Click. Crunk. My goodness! This home is going to require a lot of love. Everyone, stay close. Watch your step. There's simply no way we can sleep here under these conditions. <sighs> We'll have to attack it. You ready? Ready when you are, Mom. Bring it on! Charge! Shh! Ba boom Silas Sharnan. Emily! Emily! Whoa! Hey, Mom! Come see what Em found! Oh, wow! This is my Grandpa Silas's library. So, this is Great Grandpa? Yep. Is, is he still alive? That's a good question. No one really knows what happened to him when he disappeared. Disappeared? After your great grandmother Isabel passed away, Silas locked himself in this house and was never seen again. This is why the locals think this place is haunted. Is it? Of course not. Nevin, get down from there. Come on, Mom. I'll be all right. There's nothing up here but old junk. Wow, there are so many blueprints. Was he an architect? No. Silas was a puzzle maker. I know he was proud of that fact. Although, I always thought his puzzles looked more like toys or machines. Wow. I'm glad you're taking an interest in Silas's work. I'm sure it will come in handy for your school report. Do I have to go to school? I can learn everything I need to on my own. I know you ain't having to go to a new school again, but there's no way around it. I'm sure you two will have no problem making new friends. It's not that, Mom. It's just that I don't see the use of learning algebra when I know I'll never use it in the real world. And when did you get to know so much about the real world? It's true, isn't it? Well, that's beside the point. You said great-grandpa didn't go to school, right? And look at all the cool stuff he did. Emily. 
Your grandfather was eccentric, and he's not someone you should look up to. Why not? Just trust me, Emily. It's better to lead a normal life like everyone else. Now let's go downstairs and finish cleaning. We had a lot of work to do before it gets dark. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? Because it's creepy. Oh, grow up. Shh. Ow! See, I told you not to touch it. Don't worry about it. It's just a tiny nick. <coughs> Let's go back outside before we get in trouble. Hold on. Come on, Em. We should leave it alone, but tell Mom about it. She'll just tell us to put it back. Here, help me put it on. I'm not good at tying knots. It's easy. Just make two pretzels. Two pretzels? Swish. Did you tie it? Uh, um, I, I think so. It's beautiful. Don't tell mom, okay? I want one too. I'll let you wear it when I'm done with it. Come on. Let's go help mom. How come I never get anything first? Hmm. Em, wait up. Click. The power should come back on in a couple of days. Until then, it'll be like... We're camping out. What's wrong, Emily? Why did we move out here? Honestly, I thought you guys would like all this nature. You always loved summer camp. Yeah, but we were, we only do that for a month out of the year. Not like forever. Look, I just want for us to start a new life and leave the old one behind. I want it to start fresh. There's nothing wrong with that, right? But we didn't have to come all the way out here to do that. It's, it's not something Dad would have done. Go. Why do you say things like that, Emily? But it's the truth. Look, I, I just, I don't. Mom? Mom, I'm sorry. I miss your father as much as you do. I wish he was here. I wish I could talk to him. But more than that, I wish I knew what to do. I wish I wasn't alone. But you're not. Come here. The both of you. I love you both so much. I don't know what I would do if I lost you, too. You won't. Zzz. How are you doing, Emily? Are you warm? I'm good. Thanks, Mom. We have another long day of cleaning tomorrow. So get some rest. Look, if things don't work out here, we can go back to the city. Don't worry about it, Mom. I think I just need time to adjust. Shuff. Shuff. <sighs> Emily. Emily. Listen carefully. Your family is in danger. Zzz. Stay with them. Keep them safe. Safe from what? Wait. Kthump. Kthump. You hear that? It's coming from downstairs. Mom, what is that? Kthump. 
I don't know, Navin. Click. You two stay here while I go see what it is. We'll go with you. Stay close. Kathump. Hello. It's probably just the pipes. Or maybe a raccoon. Raccoon? Sounds like it's coming from the basement. Kathump. 